in our last video we looked into a bit of a deeper understanding of a data set and we have known what all things that we need to build our model what are features what all features we need to build our model now uh, we need to label and code the object uh, features okay feature with object data type so first of all we need to import from the sklearn library import sklearn dot preprocessing as let's import uh, preprocessing okay. let's import preprocessing from the name preprocessing itself preprocessing yeah and let's import label encoder is equal to preprocessing dot label encoder okay we have already uh, seen what does label encoder does and why encoding is important if uh, you have forgotten or somehow missed it out make sure to go through the older videos where we have talked about feature engineering so the first thing is we need occupation okay, let's convert occupation uh, for that let's take occupation okay, salary occupation equals to lay dot fit transform and let's take salary salary and again occupation occupation salary occupation and what i am going to do is take salary occupation dot as type str okay let's look if everything is fine okay uh we don't really need so many brackets over here okay let's run this and check if it works let's check salary yeah occupation has been converted it has been encoded now let's do the same thing for our gender and target okay, let's paste it and we want to do it for gender and we want to do it for target variable okay oops gender Paste it again over here. Target. Okay. And again, take it to target. Let's run this. Let's look if everything is fine. Salary dot head. Oops. Double out. Yeah. So everything looks just fine. Okay. Even now, if you check uh, just salary dot target value counts or an unique or probably unique. You will get all the encoded values. Okay. Now, the next thing that uh, we can do is let's look into the distribution of education number. Okay. So what I'm going to do is salary. This is one of the way to by which you can see salary dot group by. Okay. I will just look into in each and every group how many counts are there. Probably a count plot. Okay. And I'm going to take education number. Educate, let's copy it out rather than having a typo. Copy it out, paste it out over here. Okay, taking education number dot the target with the target dot me. Okay, let's check. So let's plot it out. Then we will get a much better picture. Plot. I need an histogram for this too. Okay, kind of uh, kindest bar okay yeah so this gives me a clear picture so for 16 you can see that uh, we have the maximum mean okay the mean of the complete uh, for the 16 group okay. so this looks quite good okay and we are going to use it also let's plot a last graph and then start with the splitting of the data set and then training our model so we are going to pull, 
we are going to create an heat map. So I'm going to create a subplot. Okay. If you don't want a subplot, that's fine. It just gives me a wider picture of it. Okay. And it's a good practice to do. Fix size, set out a fix size, and then SNS dot heat map. Okay, I'm going to use that and then salary dot core. Yeah, it gives me correlation. I hope by now you have known what is correlation. Okay, let's set other values. Okay. If I check this, okay. Uh, yeah, let me do a bit of customization over here. I'm going to do a node is equal to true. Okay. And what else I can do is uh, let's keep square is also equal to true. Square is equal to true. Hmm. This gives me a good picture, right? Okay. So we are going to take age, education number. We are going to take age, education number, gender, and the occupation. Okay. These are the four things we are going to take. Education number, occupation, gender, and age. So let's uh, move into the tra train test split part. I think everything is just fine now. So let's name it all the things that all the columns that we need. So we need age, we need uh, education number. Let's copy education num, education number. Oops. Education number. Then what we need is the occupation, occupation and at the end what we need is the gender. Okay, these are the four things that we are going to use that will help us predict the target. Okay, so let's jump into our next video and we are going to start with the train test spread part and the training the model part. Okay.